the Kera Vision Plus 35C review and installation. My name's Alan Hart and today I'm doing something that I haven't done in in around 20 years. I'm installing a Vicera boiler in my man cave. So I'm going to take out this Wiesman boiler, this is a Wiesman 100. There's nothing wrong with this boiler, but I'm going to take this boiler out. I'm going to set the boiler, I'm going to put it aside here for trainees. But I'm going to take this out and we're going to install a, we're going to install a new Vicera boiler. I'll strip it down, we'll have a look inside and yeah, and if you can give your opinion on it below, that'll be really good. So the lot. This video is for gas safe registered and trainee gas engineers under supervision. Please comply with the current regulations at the time. So I've done all my safety checks on this boiler. I've disconnected and tested the gas, disconnected the water, and now I'm just going to lift the boiler off the wall. So we'll just quickly look inside the box and show you what you get in the box. So you get your condensate pipe in there. You've also got your fittings. So that's your fittings pack. We've got the boiler template. Most important thing of all, installation instructions. So we've got the template here and just to point out on this it's the standard um, UK configuration now so we've got the flow on the left we've got the hot we've got the gas we've got the cold and then we've got the return as just like other boilers like your Wiesmans and like your Worcesters, Ideals etc um, so if you're swapping this for any of them boilers then the pipe work will just line up this is actually it's actually spot on it's a dream it's a dream is this got the template on the wall here so i'm just going to mark this up and connect the bracket to the wall one thing to point out with this boiler that it can be you can put it onto ply so ply is okay These boilers are tested in the factory, so when we take these caps off underneath, we may get a bit of water coming out. We might not, but it's also got a built-in filling loop. So I've just connected that up first before I put it into place, but that'll just connect onto uh, onto there onto your flow and onto your cold. The condensate's also got a little cap on under here. So you need to take that off. And that's just so it doesn't get damaged when you're fitting the boiler. Also, the pressure gauge is at the back underneath on these. I've got the boiler on the wall now. We still need to put a clip on the flue and as I said already the boiler is okay to be installed onto a timber um, timber backing plywood or whatever I've just connected the pipes underneath and we'll just take case off now and we'll have a look inside the boiler so to remove the front cover on this, there's two screws underneath. I've removed them already, and then they, they just clip, just clips off. Just got some clips on the bottom there. If we have a look inside here, I will strip this down, but we've got a stainless steel, it's got a stainless steel heat exchanger. So we're just going to remove the sides now. Just got David here from Vicera. 
So we've got two screws for the side panel, one in the bottom and one at the top. And then the side will just lift, lift totally off. And then we can have a look at all that side then. You can get into all that then nice and easy. And then we'll just remove the other side. And the other side comes off the same. We've got a screw in the bottom. And then we've got a screw in the top. And again, we can take the side panel fully off. And now we'll have a look at the components inside the boiler. So if we have a look at the expansion vessel, the expansion vessel is a nine litre expansion vessel. So that's, that's quite big. If we have a look at the plate, Plate heat exchanger on back there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a look at this side. There. It's a bit awkward to see, but if you see how big that plate is, it's absolutely massive. The gas valve is a sit gas valve, so is the fan. As I've said before, the heat exchanger is stainless steel, and we'll strip this down shortly and we'll have a look inside it's got one single pipe stainless steel pipe and it connects onto copper so you've got copper pipes going into it onto a stainless steel coil and as i say it's one continuous coil all the way around and then it comes about uh, comes out the other side there as one continuous pipe and again copper pipes there and then that goes into the riello pump PRV is there, which is easy to get on. So I'm just going to remove this burner now and we'll have a look inside here. So I'm just going to take off this lead here. And then this one here, I'll take this one off as well. I've just got a plug on the fan here which I'll take off and then one here as well it's a bit awkward one hand I'll do that in a minute and then we just need to disconnect the gas pipe off here just one thing to point out with the pump the floor there's a little arrow on there so for anybody who's watching this in detail the actual floor goes this way into the heat exchanger here goes round the coil on the heat exchanger that way comes out this way and then this then will go to the central heating so i'll just take this gas pipe off here now so i'm just going to undo the gas pipe here well i've already done the gas pipe here it's got a little washer in there and it just comes off a lot like a lot of the other brands Really, really easy. And then that just lifts off. This is the Vicera Vision Plus 35C, and this is the stainless steel version. They also do a 40 kilowatt in these boilers as well. Uh, it's also got a drain off on front here. So as you're filling it up, if you need to get the air out of the coil, obviously this is one single coil. So a bit like some of the Viesmans, sometimes you might have an issue when you're filling it up, it might trap some air. So you better use that if that did happen. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions on this boiler, please ask them in the comments below. I'm gonna do a long-term review on this boiler. So this boiler is gonna stay in my man cave and I'm gonna use this boiler. I'm gonna use it for heating in here. Um, gonna use it for hot water as well. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to answer any of the questions that you, that you might have. I'm also gonna do some videos on how to set it up, 
how to put it into service mode, high, low. Also this boiler, you can rain drate this boiler. So I'm also gonna do a separate video on rain drating so that you can adjust it to the heating load for the property, which is a really good, really, really good feature, to be honest. Um, yeah, we can also, we'll also look at maybe the, the controls with the open firm style settings on the app because on the app you can have a look at what the boiler pressure is and and all sorts of different things so over time i'll probably go into some real deep details into this as well um, so as i say if you've got any questions at all please ask them in the comments below and and thanks for watching